The Philadelphia Soul used defense and capitalized on turnovers as they set a regular season record for fewest points allowed in defeating the San Jose Sabercats 42-20 at the Wells Fargo Center Sunday night. Tonight, we'll talk to assistant coaches Phil Vogel and Rod Miller and fullback Derek Ross. I'm Rhea Hughes. The Soul Insider, presented by Foods Galore, is next. Soul are continuing their playoff push, and they revenged an earlier huge loss to San Jose. Let's check out the highlights. Clint Dozell's game plan seemed clear from the start. Run Derek Ross with four first quarter carries, and in the second, his fifth carried him into the end zone for the Soul's first score. The run game paired with the Soul defense emerging now as the centerpiece in this three-game win streak and stopping San Jose on downs on the next possession. The Soul capitalizes quickly with another emerging weapon. Six foot seven wide out Marquis White who hauls in Dan Rodabal's longest strike of the night from 27 and a 14-6 lead they would not lose. The next Sabercat series, again it's the defense. Nathan Stanley ripped on release. Kent Richardson with the easy swipe. And another excellent sequence in the defensive secondary by Philadelphia results in the turnover. Dozell and Dan dial up number four again. And this time, it's one to remember. Still knocking people over, still on his feet, still going. Derek Ross, touchdown! Worthy of another look, it sums up the win and the will of the soul, as well as Ross who runs around, through, and over every member of the San Jose defense on his way to the goal line from 32 yards out. 21-13 Soul led at the half. In the second half, more of the same, with Ross rushing in again from seven. Into the end zone for his 35th touchdown of the year and third of the night. The defense then striking again. He goes back to work and the ball's intercepted. Gray had it and Kaiser pulled it in. One of the great Sharks and ball hawks. Dan finding Marquis White again to move in front 35-20 to start the fourth and holding San Jose scoreless the rest of the way while Ross finishes a memorable day with 109 total yards, Seoul 42, San Jose 20 at the end. Playoff game right here. I believe in my heart all the bad is done with us. We've had enough bad for three seasons, all right? It's about to turn around and be good, and real good. The light's right there, man. The light is right there at the end of the tunnel, all right? Stay focused on it, all right? It starts with the night with San Jose. Hey, we're up eight points. With the ball coming out, we jumped off sides five times. We did not finish the half the way we're supposed to finish the half. We're not listening, okay? We're supposed to onside kick there, hit the damn net, make the field goal. Let's go. They're playing like they're just, they don't care. Let's make them go home like they don't care. All right? Come out hard in the second half, just like you started that first half. Like the second half got to be All right? Good. Let's go. No new mistakes from here on out. Keep your ass on side, D-line. Okay? He's got a decent hard count, I guess. All right? Let's use ours, Dan. Let's get them to jump off sides one time. All right? All right. Let's go. Break it up. That's Seoul head coach Clint Dolzell giving a pre- and halftime speech to his team and a man who had a front row seat for that, Phil Bogle, assistant head coach and line coach for the Souls. Welcome back to the show. Uh, thanks for having me, guys. I, I'm just wondering, are you taking notes? Because I, you know, I, I know someday you're going to be a head coach in, the, in, in this league. So you, do you take any notes from Clint for those speeches? I uh, take a lot of notes uh, from a lot of things that Clint does. I mean, uh, overall, I mean, he's a great I mean, guy to learn from. I mean, being a Hall of Famer. Um, and then also being a really successful uh, head coach, so definitely taking a lot of notes from him. One of the things that, that we, uh, we have you on, on camera doing is before the game, you go up at, to each and every player to kind of talk to them. What is it that you say to all the guys on the team before the game? Um, I mean, it's every, everybody has a, a different message. Uh, everybody has a different role on our team, um, but the overall is uh, just to go out 
and and win uh, and dominate and 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 defeat your opponent. So that's you know that's what I kind of whisper and say to different guys. So you, did you have that talk with Derek Ross, who just <laughs> I mean, he was amazing in the game. Yeah, um, both I challenged both offensive line and defensive line uh, to play their very best because of the the challenge that San Jose possesses with their offensive and defensive line, which are really good. And I think we met that challenge. Well, I think it was pretty clear with because it, it was funny when I was watching the game. Uh, Tom Goodhines, your, your GM, mentioned that Derek Ross's you know, 63 yards rushing, you know, the 14 carries, would be akin to a 200-yard rushing day in the NFL. Can you just talk about how remarkable of an effort that was by Derek? Um, very, very uh, spectacular effort um, on on his part with not even just running ball, but blocking as well. Um, he 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 came out focused, um, and he wanted to put the team on his back. And he did an excellent job of doing that. The defensive line. Can you talk a little? I mean, I, I know in the stats it'll only show I think that you had one sack, but the pressure that you put on Stanley, you know, forcing him into three interceptions was tremendous. Yeah, and that's you know what we set out to do was uh, you know sacks are, are a stat you know that people like to see, but um, pressure is is better than anything. All right, and looking ahead, you've got Pittsburgh next. What do you guys have to do? You lost two close games to them. What do you have to do to get past them? to hopefully secure yourself a playoff bid? Uh, finish the game is, is the most important thing. You know, first time I think they beat us by seven, uh, last time by a last minute uh, field goal. So just finishing the game, you know, we've been doing good the last couple weeks, you know, over the last three games of finishing games. So just continue to do that and I think we'll fare well. It's assistant head coach Phil Bogle, our guest on Soul Insider. Phil, thanks for joining us as always. Thanks for having me, guys. Tune in this Saturday to the Comcast Network at 5 p.m. For the regular season finale, as the Soul continue to battle for their playoff lives versus in-state and division rival, the Pittsburgh Power. Stay tuned to PhiladelphiaSoul.com for details on the official watch party for Saturday's game to catch all the action with fellow Soul fans and food and drink specials. After the break, we'll hear from assistant coach Rod Miller and fullback Derek Ross when we return to the Soul Insider, presented by Foods Galore. The Soul Insider, presented by Foods Galore, is sponsored by Pro Systems. Pro Systems Audio, one of Philadelphia's finest audio, video, and lighting contracting firms. By Walgreens. Walgreens, at the corner of Happy and Healthy. And by the Judge Group and Judge Unified Communications. Designing, developing, deploying, and managing advanced technologies for clients across the globe. Scott, he's doing a great job for us, whether it be you know, the steak, meat, the lobster, everything is our own brand. It's a testimonial to Foods Galore. Service is what's made our company. Loyalty, reliability, honesty. Your growth was one of the main reasons why I evolved in the business. People look at Chicken and Pete's as a success story, but it's actually your success story. It works just like a marriage, because I still have my wife and I still have you. <laughs> Which car company has the best warranty in America? Hyundai. And which crossover was named Cars.com's 2014 Family Car of the Year? The Santa Fe Sport. It's the one solid choice. The strength of the Santa Fe Sport. The power of America's best warranty. Now lease a new Santa Fe Sport for just $209 a month or get up to $1750 total savings. Hurry to your local Hyundai dealer today because these great deals end July 31st. What can I get you? Oh, sorry. I was daydreaming. <laughs> Dreaming about your wedding, huh? Yes, actually. With a big ice sculpture and a string quartet? Yeah, how'd you know? You've got the new instant game from the Pennsylvania Lottery. Yeah, $1 million golden ticket with five top prizes of 1 million bucks. Want to see your dreams come to life? You could scratch your way to instant winning today. The Pennsylvania Lottery, bring your dreams to life. Here's the Colonial Marble, rock solid player of the game. They're gonna have to make it out there. They're watching tonight. Nice, that's the watch party. Ross on the screen. Look at the big man rumble. Still knocking people over. Still on his feet. Still going. Derek Ross touchdown. And I'm not sure you're going to find a better highlight in the Arena League. This season, that's Derrick Ross, 109 all-purpose yards, 63 rushing, 46 receiving, three touchdowns, rushing touchdowns, 
And I want to welcome in Derek Ross. And uh, Derek, you know, we always talk about you, you know, as a fullback in rushing. I want to talk about your pass catching skills mm -hmm. and the 32 yard catch and run. Can you just tell me a little bit about how that play developed? Oh, man. Uh, Sykes, one of the better players in the league, actually kind of just went by me. He just left me alone. I don't know why. And I s sneaked out and I caught the ball and I just wasn't going down. <laughs> I want to win. I want to win pretty bad. Did you ever at any point count how many players you were dragging with you into the end zone? Oh, no, ma'am. I was just, I was just, I just saw a little bit of the end zone and I was just trying to get there. <laughs> you know, it was funny. One of the things I read, uh, one of the game stories I read after it said the, um, the soul defied arena logic by putting this game, which is a critical game clearly as you guys are fighting for the playoffs, in the hands of a fullback. Do you love the fact that, you know, when it comes to the soul, they put so much focus on you because you can deliver? I mean, me and Coach, me and Coach Dozell, we have a, a great relationship, has been for a while. So I know he believes in me, and then when it comes down to it, he has to, you know, just have faith in me and just give me the ball and get it done. Can you talk a little bit about your line and how much they helped you? Uh, oh, offensive yeah. line has been crucial the whole year. They've been coming up, I mean, I mean, tremendous. I mean, Wayne and Balo and Christian, them guys are great. Have, have you looked at the game film yet from the game? No, not yet. They just showed me a little bit of clips. Haven't looked at the game yet. Okay, when, when you do look at it, I, I want you to show Tiger, like, that's how it's done when you catch a pass. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got that done. How many guys do you think Tiger could drag in the end zone with him? Mm, Tiger's a man. I don't know. Don't, like, I know he's small, but he's a, he's a man amongst boys out there. Uh, I say about three or four of them. <laughs> <laughs> he is strong. He is strong. Yes. All right, the, um, you would also mention after the game that you kind of gave yourself a pregame talk in which you said, you were not going to let your team lose this game. No, Is that the no. focus you went in yes, with? Yes, I went in all focused the whole week, man. I, I wasn't going to let my team, if it had to be on me, I wasn't going to let us lose, man. I, I want to keep playing for the playoffs. You know, I want to get that ring, you know, eventually. So I'm, I'm going to go out there and play hard as I can. And I want to thank you, Derek Ross, for joining us on The Soul Insider. Thank you very much. And we'd like to welcome in special teams coach and secondary coach Rod Miller to the show. Rod, welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, talk a little bit about the game that Rayshon Kaiser uh, had against San Jose. Well, uh, yesterday, last night, you know, he played with a lot of confidence. You know, we did a lot of film study, a lot of preparation. You know, Ray prides himself on doing a lot of film work. So when you prepare yourself and you execute it in practice, it carried over to the game. Was it a point of emphasis, you know, just with the team as a whole, and I'm sure especially the defense, based off what San Jose had did to you guys earlier in the year, that you guys, as you're fighting for a playoff spot, weren't going to let that happen again when they put 70 on you. Yes, we definitely, that was a thought in our mindset all week. You know, what happened that game was unfortunate for us, but, you know, it happened. So we knew that we had to win out. We're in a playoff mode right now. That's how we've been playing the last couple of weeks, and that was a team that was in our way. And we wanted to come out, uh, send a message not just to ourselves, but to the league that we're here, we're ready to play, and get our uh, wave going into the playoffs, and we can get in, and we can go from there. Were you surprised they started Nathan Stanley yesterday? You know, going off of what they had been doing, uh, I thought that there may be a chance that they may you know, give Mickna a chance. He was out there warming up. But, you know, in hindsight, at this point, when you're just trying to keep playing and going well, you go, what's been working? And that's been working for them. So I wasn't surprised, but at the same time, I wouldn't have been surprised if they made that change. I'm curious, as, as a secondary coach, if you were the coach watching the game field today of what Derek Ross did to the defense on San Jose. I believe he carried seven guys <laughs> into the end zone. How yes. would you tell your guys to attack a guy like that? Like, how do you bring him down? Well, first thing you got to use common sense. You're not going to attack Derrick Ross up high. You got to go low. You know, we watched, I actually was just watching film uh, before I came down here for this, and they were going high, trying to chicken wing him, hit him up top. You can't do that. You got to take his legs out. You know, and everybody was standing around waiting for somebody else to make the tackle. And I think that's what happened. You know, we have to go in and make a play and stop him. And that's what I would tell our guys. That's no excuse for him to take seven, eight guys into the end zone for about 15, 20 yards. That's unacceptable. As a coach, the one guy who was with them the whole way, is he hiding in, in the film room? When that's being shown? He's probably called sick today, say so he's sick, did come into meetings today. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, Coach Rod Miller, special teams coach and secondary coach, thanks for being our guest on The Soul Insider. All right, thanks. Glad to be here. Even though the season is still going strong, 2015 Soul Season tickets are on sale now. Call the Soul offices at 888-789-SOUL to join the Soul family now. Winning football and the most intense entertainment experience in Philadelphia. We will sell you the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. That's 888-789-SOUL. Call now. After the break, 
I'll have a few thoughts to share about Cole Hamels, and we'll speak to Lou Tilly about the Soul Broadcasting when we return to the Soul Insider, presented by Foods Galore. How can the Judge Group help your business? By providing you with effective business technology solutions. By recruiting the finest personnel to meet your unique business needs. By providing corporate training, learning, and performance support solutions. And unified communications, voice and video system design and engineering. With over 30 offices in the U.S., Canada, and Asia, the Judge Group, a global leader in professional services since 1970. No one else can do what Colonial Marble and Granite can do. We've revolutionized the way you buy your granite countertops. Colonial Marble and Granite, the nation's leading granite countertop fabricator. Visit our King of Prussia showroom today and see how easy, beautiful, and affordable your countertops can be. Professional courteous service, unbeatable prices, just $19.99 installed. No one else can beat Colonial Marble and Granite. Visit us online at colonialmarble.net. Which car company has the best warranty in America? Hyundai. And which crossover was named Cars.com's 2014 Family Car of the Year? The Santa Fe Sport. It's the one solid choice. The strength of the Santa Fe Sport. The power of America's best warranty. Now lease a new Santa Fe Sport for just $209 a month or get up to $1750 total savings. Hurry to your local Hyundai dealer today because these great deals end July 31st. Hi, I'm Tony Mitchell, Brinker Simpson & Company, Certified Public Accountants. We offer comprehensive financial compliance and tax services. As Philadelphia's leading tax and advisory firm, we let our clients say it best. Tony and his team at Brinker Simpson provided the expertise of a large accounting firm, but didn't forget their small business roots. Brinker Simpson has a clear business vision that looks beyond spreadsheets and numbers and sees opportunities. At Brinker Simpson, firm relationships build success. And now, the stop pain stop of the game. Soul back on defense now as San Jose goes back to work and the ball's intercepted. Gray had it, then Kaiser pulled it in. One of the great sharks and ball hawks in AFL history. Phillies pitcher Cole Hamels is a World Series MVP, three time All Star, homegrown talent. His charity foundation, the Hamels Foundation, run with his wife. Reality star Heidi Hamels is actually a well-run, well-respected organization funding education programs here in Philadelphia and Africa. Hamels covers all the expenses, so 100% of every dollar raised goes to the charity. Couple also adopted a two-year-old from Ethiopia who had been abandoned at a park. Central casting, right? Well, for a guy nicknamed Hollywood, I'm not really sure what type of uproar there would be, if any, if Hamels gets dealt at the trade deadline. I've never got the sense the majority of the fan base really connected with Hamels. Despite being named the most valuable player in the Phillies World Series championship run in 2008, I have felt the fan base latched on more to Cliff Lee. I remember waking up to the news Lee was returning to the Phillies and the euphoria that ensued, the near reverence that surrounds Roy Halladay. Perfect game, no hitter in the playoffs, so sure, it was warranted. Maybe it was Hamill's poor performance in the 2009 World Series against the Yankees when he said he just wanted the season to be over. Or when early in his career, Hamill's apparently told the Phillies he wanted a chiropractor when the team was on the road. Feeling as Hamill's is a little too California for the city of Philadelphia. Could be the instances of petulant behavior on the mound. Please, there's no question Hamill's was a little immature early on in his career and could be a little quirky. He's a lefty. My all-time favorite Philly was called lefty, Steve Carlton. You want quirky? His picture is next to the word in the dictionary. My co-host on 94 WIP, Al Morgani, a noted Red Sox fan from Boston, said if the Phillies trade Hamels, I'm out with them. That is a white flag that does not need to be raised. It will be a total surrender. You can make a case for the older veterans, but not Hamels in his prime. I would hope most Phillies fans would feel the same way if a trade of Hamels actually happened. But I have a feeling I'd be a bit surprised if it did. 
Now, a man who knows these Philadelphia fans all too well, Lou Tilly is joining us on the show. Lou, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Rhea. It's good to be with you again. Now, you and your team have been broadcasting the Soul Games this season, some home games and some away, some full broadcast and some webcast. Tell us about them. Well, we did eight games, the traditional broadcast telecasts on the Comcast Network and Comcast Sportsnet. But we did most of the rest of the season as well, streaming on ESPN3. And it's a little bit of a different experiment and a little different audience that we're trying this year with those versions of the broadcast. We're not locked into TV breaks, so sometimes if I feel like I've got something to say or got a little bit roll going with Tom or Billy Osborne, whoever my co-host was during those games, we'll just keep with it during the timeouts. It gives us a little more freedom. Typically, the, the viewer who's watching those streaming telecasts are the real fans of the soul, but also I, I've got notes and feedbacks from fans all across the country watching on cable or on the streaming or even on the replays. They're fans of the league and just doing a drop-in on Philadelphia, so we can be a little more loose, have a little more fun with it, sort of the way that you are with Angelo and the gang on the morning show on the radio. In fact, it reminds me more of a radio delivery. Uh, it's been a good experiment for us. Hey, Lou, it seems there were more webcasts this year than last year. Is that the new trend? Well, first of all, by marrying some of the technologies with the in-house technology, the cameras, et cetera, with a couple cameras of our own, we were able to cut the cost way down. So what I did was I literally took the big 40-foot truck that you normally see parked outside there and moved the control room, as it were, with new technology right into the booth with me. You take a look at some pictures here, and you can see Tom and I broadcasting, and right behind us is the control room. And sometimes I'll just turn around in the middle as, like, as if I don't drive him crazy enough, and I'll tell the director, give me a shot of Jaworski. Zoom in on the injured player. Zoom in on the cheerleader. I'm calling my own show now, which is a nightmare for everybody I've ever worked with. But it's more economical, and I think it's more fun in a way. Uh, it's more of a loose broadcast. It's more real. We've had a lot of fun with it, and I think there's a, there's a future in this new technology. And, and here at Lou Tilly Media, we've kind of been experimenting with it all year long, and the results have been pretty positive. Well, that sounds exciting, Lou. What else is in store for the future? Boy, in, in the future, there are no limits. Uh, you know, I'm part of a project right now where we're ready to produce and deliver all the media in China for arena football there. And the phrase we use internally with our team at Lutili Media's. Hey, it's a blank canvas in China. There's no right, there's no wrong. It's a blank canvas. We can reconstruct the entire way the games are delivered and broadcast to a new audience. I look forward to doing that. And without giving too much away right here on the show, I want to try and do some of that in the U.S. too, primarily so that our fans are better served and that our clients, our sponsors, are better served as well. Thanks, Lou, for joining us on Soul Insider. Hey, one more game to go, one more telecast on the Comcast Network, Saturday night in Pittsburgh for all the marbles at 5 o'clock on the Comcast Network. See you then. And I know that although this season is still going strong, 2015 Soul season tickets are on sale now. Call the Soul offices at 888-789-SOUL to join the Soul family, winning football and the most intense entertainment experience in Philadelphia. We're going to sell you the whole seat, but you're only going to need the edge. That's 888-789-SOUL. Call now. After the break, we'll look ahead to the regular season finale against Pittsburgh, and we'll hear from you, the fans, when we return to Soul Insider, presented by Foods Galore. Bradford White Water Heaters. American made, American owned. Built to be the best. Why would you buy any other brand? Visit BradfordWhite.com to find a contractor near you. Scott, he's doing a great job for us, whether it be, you know, the steak, meat, the lobster. Everything is our own brand. It's a testimonial to Foods Galore. Service is what's made our company. Loyalty, reliability, honesty. Your growth was one of the main reasons why I evolved in the business. People look at Chicken and Pete's as a success story, but it's actually your success story. It works just like a marriage. Because I still have my wife, and I still have you. (laughs) 
Soul fans, here's your chance to win the ultimate tailgate prize package. The Soul and your neighborhood Walgreens has your chance to win. Every month, you can win a 50-inch flat-screen TV, Soul tailgate grill, table, chairs, and coolers. Plus, you and 10 of your friends get to go to a Soul game VIP style in an all-you-can-eat club box. Get to Walgreens now and visit the Soul Zone. A new winner is selected every month. Brought to you in part by Canada Dry, Smart Water, Good Health Natural, Utz, Red Bull, Stop Pain, Coca-Cola, and Peanut Chews. No purchase necessary. Please see website for complete rules and regulations. It's the Hyundai Drive Your Way Drive of the Game. Yeah. Look at Ross on the rumble again! Cross time. Hit at the line of scrimmage. Bounces off and into the end zone for his 35th touchdown of the year and third of the night. And we want to get some viewer feedback, starting with J.G. Lewandowski. Derek Ross's amazing run yesterday was beastly. How does the soul manage to run so effectively in this league when no one else can? J.G., that's a great question. It starts with Derek. He is an amazing athlete and the best running fullback in AFL history. His position's primary responsibility is to block and protect the quarterback. Now, with that, you'll find few guys that can block effectively and still have the running skills that Derek has. The Soul are very lucky to have him. David Loeb, how confident do you feel that the Soul will be in the playoffs? When the Soul make the playoffs, how far do you think the Soul can go? Well, David, the Soul are confident they will do their part and win next week in Pittsburgh. Our guys are hungry and they're focused. So once they get in, I believe they can be the best team in the conference. They just need to play like it and finish games. Both games against Cleveland, the top seed and first round matchup, the Soul should have won those games. They've beaten Orlando and they play Pittsburgh this week. The team is confident in their chances in the playoffs. The playoff picture has come down to Philadelphia and Tampa Bay both looking for the fourth and final playoff spot in the playoffs. Philadelphia needs to have a better record than Tampa Bay in order to reach the playoffs, and it will come down to the final weekend. Tampa Bay plays at home against Cleveland, and the Soul are on the road in Pittsburgh. Tune in this Saturday to the Comcast Network at 5 p.m. for the regular season finale as the Soul continue to battle for their playoff lives versus in-state and division rival the Pittsburgh Power. Stay tuned to PhiladelphiaSoul.com for details on the official watch party for Saturday's game to catch all the action with fellow Soul fans and food and drink specials. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Soul Insider. I'm Rhea Hughes. The Soul Insider, presented by Foods Galore, is sponsored by Pro Systems. Pro Systems Audio, one of Philadelphia's finest audio, video, and lighting contracting firms. By Walgreens. Walgreens, at the corner of Happy and Healthy. And by the Judge Group and Judge Unified Communications, designing, developing, deploying, and managing advanced technologies for clients across the globe.